Hello beautiful soul and welcome to the Hills Healer Tarot. My name is Angel. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel where we learn, grow, and expand together. Working to raise the collective consciousness one unique soul at a time. This channel is dedicated to spiritual enlightenment, self-actualization, and aligning to meaning and purpose in life. So if that is something that you are interested in, then you are in the perfect place at the perfect time for the perfect reason. All we have is the now, so whenever you come across this reading, it is indeed the perfect time for you. However, we do draw upon the energies of the cosmos to help guide us like a roadmap towards your highest good and your greatest soul's vibration. This is a general collective energy read for the soul sign of Pisces. I do set the intention that this reading may resonate with you wherever you may find Pisces placements in your chart. If you do not know your chart and your chart placements, you can get a free copy of your birth chart over at my website. The information for that is listed in the description box below. And for a limited time, if you subscribe, and become a part of the Soul Journal family, you can also receive a free astrology report as well. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell. I would love to have you as a part of the Soul Joiner family. So this is your weekly preview for November the 21st through the 27th of 2022. You always want to come to these readings with your Soul Journey journals so that you can write down the journaling prompts the affirmation and the energy of the day so that you can utilize this energy to manifest throughout the week. All right, beautiful souls, for change, development, and purpose, knowledge, wisdom, perfect self-expression, stability and security, Power and refinement for the collective soul sign of Pisces. And so it is. Thank you, Spirit. I am so grateful. I am so grateful. I am so grateful. All right, beautiful Pisces. Starting out the week, we have, ooh, I love it. Nurturing yourself, loving yourself, pampering yourself. Really beautiful energy. I love it. Doing some self-development on Monday, Tuesday. You're going into the energy of loving. This is a loving energy too. And for some reason, I'm still feeling a sense of loving yourself or you're feeling loved. This is definitely maybe you're allowing love in. There's a love interest or someone around you that's coming in on Tuesday, perhaps. But it is in the energy of Aries. It talks about the self. So it could definitely be just a continuation of Monday loving on yourself. Going into the energy of Wednesday, we have taking control. This could be definitely taking control at work, making things, structuring things, organizing things, building things, really putting some things together that are going to help your business and your career to really grow. It is a significance because it's attached to the energy of Aries and it's also the energy of the full moon. I mean, the new moon in Sagittarius is also on Wednesday. So there's some taking charge energy that's coming through here. On Thursday, we, ooh, okay. Definitely needing to put up the appropriate boundaries from anything that may be toxic. There's some energy coming in on Thursday that has something to do with deceptions or things that you can not trust or there's an energy of materialism that's coming in on Thursday so we'll look at that a little bit more deeper and then on Friday you have the energy of the king of cups coming in here emotional control emotional intelligence self 
uh, fulfillment and autonomy energy coming through. It's also a very psychic sense, a very intuitive energy, taking your emotions into your own hands, under your own control on the energy of Thursday, I mean of Friday. On Saturday, moving forward, no matter how hard it is, no matter what it takes, you're being uh, making the decision to be dedicated towards some kind of forward movement. If this is someone that wants to control you, someone that wants to keep you bound, it wants to keep you blocked, rather you have a deep emotional attachment to them or not, rather they're deeply emotionally attached to you or not, there's something here about choosing to move forward. And this is an independent energy, but it definitely talks about choosing to do the work or to change some aspect of your life. And then there goes the conflict because there's one person who's in and one person who's out is how I'm getting this energy. So there is some conflicts. It could definitely be in work and career, something that you do for business or some kind of long-term business plan or perspective here. It's got a lot of competition and a lot of drama around it. But overall, you're in a very good energy and you do have support around you. So however you're going to be pulling on that support system throughout the week. Just be mindful that there is supportive energy around you that you can definitely tap onto as needed to help you get throughout the week. So let's take a look at the energy of Monday. Monday is the energy of Cancer. It's moon energy. So it's all about your emotions and your emotions are really stuck in on that Capricorn energy. Maybe there's something going on at work, something that's got you in your feelings. What you're really choosing to do is to pull your energy back and just focus on your own needs, what it is that you need to do, your own job tasks, your own um, responsibilities is how I'm getting this energy and kind of separating yourself from anything that may be chaotic or anything that may be causing a drama. It is definitely about something that you're connected to. I always think of the two energy as connections. So it could either be connection to family, connection in this particular case, to career, to work, or what you do for career work, or it could just be the way you're showing up as working on yourself, nurturing yourself, loving yourself, and that's what other people around you are seeing. And then we move into the inner, well, another thing too, we have the, um, uh, what is it that's coming in on Monday? Oh, the moon enters into Scorp uh, into uh, Scorpio as well. So with the moon moving into Scorpio, it is going into the deep emotions, you know, really pulling up some things in you that maybe you thought you had already resolved that you still need to work through. So there's an energy of 11 balancing out your emotions and making the choices that are going to be the most beneficial for you. As you move into the energy of Tuesday, Tuesday is the energy of Aries. It talks about the self. It is an energy that talks about actions, what kind of actions that you're taking. So you're really taking the continued action as Monday, working on yourself, loving yourself, supporting yourself. I'm almost feeling like being for yourself what you may not have been getting from external circumstances or external situations. The energy talks about I choose. I choose to love myself, nurture myself, and support myself is the energy that's coming through here. Tuesday is also an energy that is ruled by um, Aries, which talks about the mind. So you could be thinking about love, thinking about a loving connection, or thinking about someone, or someone could definitely be thinking about you. You could pull in some of the positive energy for Tuesday by wearing red, crimsons, and burgundy, and also it's root chakra energy work. So if there's any root chakra energy work that you need to do, today is a really good day to do that in order to clear out some of the maybe stagnant energy, congested energy that may be blocking your ability to receive or hold on to or maintain connections, connections with yourself as well as connections with others. Moving into the energy of Wednesday, there's some kind of taking control energy. And then when the devil came out on Thursday, it really made me think that there's a need to put up the appropriate boundaries to guard yourself from anything that's misleading or anything that's deceptive. Wednesday is a huge transit day. It is the new moon in Sagittarius at one degrees and one 
Pericles talks about the self. Sagittarius talks about building and protecting and holding space for your own personal self-expression, your own spiritual development, physical, mental, emotional development as well. So there's that energy of needing to take control of your environment, but also putting up the appropriate boundaries in order to maintain your own personal peace as the energy of Jupiter stations direct. So whereas things may have been feeling stagnant, there was a lot of reviewing and going over past relationships, past loves, past experiences, past lifetime karma issues, now things are going to start to move forward. Now you're in more of a controlled space versus at feeling as if though you're at the mercy of things that have already passed, like at the mercy of your self node energy. It is also an energy of four. So it's talking about maintaining that control. And the energy of the day vibration is all about restoring the balance within your life, the order within your life, the structure within your life, the discipline that is required in your life. And those are some of the things that may be needing to change for you in order for you to move forward or to not get sucked back into things that aren't for your highest and best vibrational good. On Thursday, the energy vibration for Thursday is five. So this is talking about what it is you're changing. You're changing and releasing negativity negativity of any kind especially negativity in your environment and negativity in relationships you're releasing it you're transmuting it you're letting it go you're choosing to be in a high vibrational energy and space where things are fair where things are reciprocated where things are understood where you're free to express yourself with that sagittarian energy you no longer want to be conformed or controlled rather it's in relationships rather it's in what you do for career what you do for your domestic day-to-day -day life, whatever it is that you're doing to help yourself to grow, you no longer want to be controlled. That's from societal, social views, norms, cultural, whatever it is, you're breaking yourself free from that energy on Thursday so that you can move forward towards what it is that you desire with that King of Cups energy. That's what you're creating on Thursday. So on Friday, you're coming into this energy of the King of Cups. The moon enters into Capricorn. So you're nurturing yourself. You're focusing back on the self again. You're kind of stroking your own ego, but you're balancing out your drive and ego with your emotions. So you're tempering your own desires as well. The ones that you know are toxic, the ones that you know aren't fulfilling you in the most pious, highest and, and positive vibrational ways. You're stepping up and taking responsibility for something in your life. You're saying, I'm going to take responsibility for everything that is going on in my life because I realize that I'm the one who chooses. I'm the one that makes the decisions. I'm the one that does. Everything revolves around me. And so you're coming to that full awareness through this energy of your emotional intelligence and taking responsibility for how your life and how you want things to move forward with that moon and Capricorn. It's like you're growing up today. I'm getting like a feeling of just, you know, coming into a full energy of a more mature, especially emotionally mature perspective on today. And that Friday energy talks about the energy of Venus and what it is you love and how you express your love. As much love is given is as much love is received. So it's talking about that balance and really understanding that things have to be balanced. You have to balance out your passions and your desires with the energy of your compassion and your um, grace as well. So you realize that there needs to be a divine balance between the two because when things are out of balance, that's when they become toxic. So you can draw on this energy of today by wearing turquoises and greens. And if there's anything that needs to be transmuted or healed, you can pull in the energy of pink. And then also burn in a little bit of Palo Santo and burning rose using rose quartz or pink if you're trying to heal something that has to do with your emotional needs. As you move into Saturday, you could be traveling, but I'm not really, I'm feeling like this is doing work. You know, things that maybe you haven't had any energy to do up until late because of the retrograde energy and feeling worn down and not having a lot of energy. Um, now that things are going to start to move a little bit more forward, 
you may now be deciding to do some of the things that you need to do around the house today. Put, you know, kind of checking off some of the things that are on your to do list, some things that you've been kind of um, not been taking a responsibility for or kind of been um, putting off to the side. You're realizing that today is the day to actually get it done. So it's no more procrastination, no more being lazy. Today is a day that you're going to do what needs to be done around the house to get the house in order so that things can be, you know, back on schedule or back on track is how I'm getting this energy. Moving into the energy of Sunday. Sunday is a day that talks about healing. It talks about one new beginnings. And also it's an energy that talks about Leo, personal love, compassion, opening up and seeing things, expression of oneself. And there's a lot of conflict today. There's a lot of internal turmoil is how I'm feeling this energy. Initially, I was feeling it as external, but now I'm really feeling it as internal energy. This is something that you're going through a difficult time within the self that needs to be transmuted, healed or released. So you can use the colors of gold today, the energies of orange and all also copper to help you to balance out whatever this internal conflict is. Maybe it has to do about some form of move or some form of travel or some new way of doing something that's going to help you to grow. You're learning something new right now and there's some kind of internal battle about whatever it is that you're learning, but you're going to overcome that because once you understand how to do it, you're going to feel a little bit more comfortable with this new process. I'm really feeling like this is something that perhaps you have never done before, chartering into newer territory, but it is definitely putting you on the track to your purpose and long-term fulfillment with that Knight of Pentacles energy. It's just going to take a little bit of working well with others as this moon enters into Aquarius on Sunday. So it could definitely be working people that you need to work with, your um, co-workers, peers, people, somewhere, something around with that, someone that you're working with or people that you work with or people that you, um, your colleagues. It could even be competitors though. It could be someone that you also, you have a similar business or a trade or you guys are doing similar things and you may run in similar circles. I'm also getting that energy as well, that there's some competition there as well. But the thing that you need to realize with this energy on Sunday is communication is key and there's more than enough for everybody. And so as long as you keep that understanding in your mindset and you just fall into this energy of feeling content, feeling whole, creating your own emotional stability, you won't have to worry about um, the external energies and how the external energies are affecting you because you'll be able to manage your own emotions from the inside out. So not allowing external energies to trigger you is going to be very key. So let's go ahead and see what your journaling prompt is, Pisces. Journaling prompt for Pisces for the week of November the 21st. Through the 27th, what does Virgo need to know about this weekly preview? Thank you, Spirit. I am so grateful. So we have the energy coming through. Look at that. Your true tribe cannot show up until you do. Doing the work. Definitely. Doing the work, that's the internal turmoil, right? Something that you've been procrastinating, something that you've been putting off, haven't been showing up for yourself, taking responsibility, needing to be disciplined. It says your true tribe cannot show up until you do. How can you show more of the real you? So let's talk about it, beautiful souls. How can you show more of the real you there's an energy of 12 which talks about what needs to be surrendered or released and the old view of yourself needs to be surrendered or released the old you needs to be surrendered or released now you're surrendering releasing and opening up to the true authenticness of self and that's where the death and transformation process takes place do you crave a deeper connection so many of us live for others and make choices based on what others want from us. We put them first because we want so much to be liked and appreciated. But when we do this, we are hiding our true selves. When you hide your light, you can feel depleted, let down and exhausted. Are you hiding 
pieces of yourself. Many of us think it is easier to go with the flow of the crowd, but in doing so, we sacrifice our true selves. We fear speaking up and not being liked. We believe it is a risk to show our real selves and not be accepted, but the opposite is true. Your true tribe can't find you until you start showing up as the real you. Use this opportunity to start being more honest and real with yourself. What you stand for, what do you need for true, what do you need from a true friend? First, give it to yourself, these gifts. If you want more appreciation, ask, how can I appreciate myself? From this foundation of self-love, you will grow your connection and attract more like-minded and like-hearted people. There are people out there who are waiting for real, deep, meaningful connections, but they can't find you until you show up as your authentic self. Share all of you more openly with others. It's possible some people may fall away, but this makes room for the more genuine to come into your life. Your journaling prompt for this week, Pisces. How can I show more of the real me? I love it. Let's go ahead and pull you an affirmation for this week. Pull in on these energies for the week so you can navigate whatever this is. However, this energy is showing up for you. For Pisces. What does Pisces need to know for November the 21st through the 27th, 2022? And so it is. Thank you. I am so grateful. All right. So your message is. We have adjacent possibilities. I love it. The energy vibration of 24. This is an energy that just talks about not settling. If one door is closed, there's another window or another door or another opportunity that opens up. It lets us know that we're never stuck in one specific situation or place. Rather, you're having difficulty at work or whatever it is that you're doing there. Rather, there's conflict or discord in your um you know, relationship or relationship groups needing to balance out the energies of your desire, personal protection, but also being emotional and being vulnerable as well and moving forward and learning through the process and realizing that the seeds that you sow will reap benefit, but it's all about the attention that you place behind that benefit. The energy of 24 talks about the energy of what it is that you know and what it is that you choose. I know that there's an infinite universe, right? I know that there's adjacent possibilities, there's adjacent worlds, that there's just so much more than what the eye can see, what the ears can hear, and what even microscopes can see. There's so much more to the realm of existence. And so you realize that you can truly manifest in multiple and different ways and that you don't have to go in one direction in order to make it to a specific place. And so that inner turmoil, whatever that inner turmoil is that you're going through at this time, you're going to be able to restore the harmony and balance, transmute it and release it so that you can get back to a more peaceful and more stable place. So your affirmation, beautiful Pisces, I am open and willing to take my life in new directions. I am becoming more aware of my many options for harmony and optimism in my thoughts and in all my choices each day. Affirm it in the comment section, beautiful soul. I am open and willing to take my life in new directions. I am becoming more aware of my many options for harmony and optimism in my thoughts and all my choices each day. Thank you so much, Pisces, for allowing me to read for you. I am truly honored and always grateful. If you haven't already done so, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that like button. Share these videos with those that you think have benefit from the messages and subscribe. Become a part of the Soul Joiner family where we learn grow and expand together, working to raise the collective consciousness one unique soul at a time. And that unique soul is you. Until our soul paths cross again, soul joiners, I am wishing you love, peace, blessings, happiness, and abundance be on to you. Have a blessed and abundant week. Namaste.